Hello and welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. So, let's start off with the first thing. We got vegetables. They need to be a harvesting. Uh, I think it's... Are we doing crack wheat right now? It might be. I, I can't even... No, that must be in the returned icon. Probably should have gone slower so I could actually have seen what we picked up previously. But it doesn't really matter too much. Need to pick up some more when we're out. Right, we have a couple of options. It's Wednesday, so that means that we can go to the hospital. You can also maybe look at our models. Actually, there is one thing I want to do with our models while we're here. Uh-huh. Hello, this is Naoto. Is this Zapla-san? Can, can you go inside the TV tomorrow? I can't sit still when I know there's something going on. Nah. Sorry, Naoto. That's a no. Uh, did I get a new one of these? Uh, I, th I was just like, did I get a new one? Yeah, I got a Moki. Cool. We have a new doll. Cool. Or, um, yeah, that'd be Mokoi. Mokoi? Because it's got an I at the end. So it's kind of like Tomoe. I would assume that's how you'd pronounce it. Anyway, whatever. It's all okay. Right, who's around today? We've got Naoto. Okay, probably going to be spending our evening with Naoto. We could go to the hospital, but uh, I don't really want to go there. I mean, it's just a money thing, basically. Uh, Chie. Yeah, I think we're spending the uh, evening with um, yeah, with Naoto. Let's go. Hello, Naoto. What is going on? Hello. I came here to have a look for myself, but I can scarcely see the nose in front of my face. It's unnerving. Perhaps you wouldn't mind staying to chat for a bit. Seems Naoto was having a hard time calming down. Talking with her and relaxing may be a good idea. And we already have the uh, persona, let's go. Thank you, well then. <sighs> There's something my grandpa used to tell me. Men fear what they do not understand. Instead, they want easy answers. They'd rather be at peace knowing something than stay in the dark. It's ironic, in a way, that the townspeople are murmuring about the fog being poisonous. The fog is in fact harmless, yet they feel calmer by treating it as a threat. Um, is it really harmless? Yes. Most likely, yes. We are living proof. Our glasses help us bear the worst of it, but we do spend a lot of time inside the TV, where it is always foggy. Naoto is smiling calmly. I'm planning to ask the police for their cooperation on this matter in spreading accurate information to the townspeople. It may only be a drop in the bucket, but it's better than doing nothing. Okay, I don't know if the fog's har um, completely, you know, harmless, but I think... Oh, oh there's... Um... Oh, well, you look at the time. It seems like we've been chatting for quite a while. Ah, yes, I have something for you. You may perhaps find it useful. Please accept it. Got a stimulant. Well then, let's go home. But yeah, maybe it's because we've got Good night. our personas, we've faced our inner selves, and that's why the fog's not dangerous to us. I don't know. We have no, we know nothing about the fog, really, apart from that it's foggy. And it's probably related to Adachi. Beyond that, not a lot, really. Alright, who's going to speak to us? You overhear students talking. I saw it, on the Midnight Channel. Countless black creatures crawl out of the fog and infest the town. The town gets overrun by them and the people who inhaled fog turned into them too. And the last person that appeared looked just like me. What should I do? I don't feel good. People turning into monsters? That sounds awesome! It's like some kind of anime. I wonder how it feels to turn into a monster. Huh? How it feels? Um... Well, I guess, if everyone was turned into monsters, that'd be okay. If everyone's becoming a creature, why should I worry about becoming one? <laughs> It'll be just like we're evolving into another species. Yeah, in a way. If you count shadows as another species. Oh, it's lunch. Hello, Naoki. What's up? Oh, it's I. Hello. Uh, yeah. Uh, decide later. Well, I'm just going to see if we get any better offers, okay? You don't need to sound so upset about it. 
Right. Let's save. And then we'll go and talk to some other people. So, do a little look to the left, a little look to the right. Okay. Nobody else around here. So we got Ayani, no Yosuke. Downstairs, we got anybody here? We got I, we got uh, Naoto. Risi's not available. I think this is a Naoto day. Uh, social link with Naoto. What, where, where are we actually at with some of these? I were at seven. Okay, that's fine. Where are we? Naoto were at five. Yeah, we can do more Naoto. Hello. Ah, yes. Can you spare some time to be with me today? We need to take the time to refresh our minds every so often. There's something she wants me to see. Let's go. Yes. Naoto looks happy. Where are we going? Park bench. I see. Samagawa floodplain. Fog has enveloped the area. Naoto brought a new challenge from the Phantom Thief. This was in my mailbox this morning. The, than the Phantom Thief knows where I live. Which means he had other reasons for you ha uh, for having you deliver the first card. Why you, though? Hmm. Because we looked close? Huh? What are you saying? That can't be it. Don't blurt out such ridiculous nonsense. Naoto was panicking fiercely. So then, what do you think of the contents of this card? The card reads as follows. When the banks close, the fruit tree grows. But the large seven at the third is the spot I chose. Or choose. But that doesn't sound as nice. When the banks close, the fruit tree grows. By the large seven at the third is the spot I choose. Okay. Banks close. When the banks close. Banks close on a Sunday, maybe? The fruit tree grows. I don't know about the fruit tree growing. By the large seven at the third is the spot I choose. Okay, so when the banks close, so that's, I, I definitely think that that is a, I think it's saying Sundays, right? By the large seven at the third is the spot I choose. Large seven, large seven could be like on a clock at the third. So maybe it's saying, I'm just going through my head here. With the third, maybe it's saying that they want us to meet them at quarter past seven on a Sunday. Where the fruit tree grows. I don't know where the fruit tree grows, but maybe that's it. More cryptic this time. Well, I anticipated that. The first thing that comes to mind with fruit tree is the original card. But the second sentence. By the seven at the third, what do these numerical values mean? When the banks close, the fruit tree grows. By the large seven at the third is the spot I choose. Seven and three o'clock? Yeah, okay. Maybe? No, there's nothing peculiar about those particular positions. Nauta was sighing. When the banks close, the fruit tree grows. It's incomprehensible. Seven. And third? When the banks close, the fruit tree grows. Look at the third and the seventh word. Banks and tree. In other words, by the large tree at the banks is the spot I choose. Oh, sure. Uh, anyway, let's search for the biggest tree at this river's banks. You search the river bank with Naoto. There was something buried by the tree you found. I knew it. This watch brings back memories. Naoto holds a digital watch, slightly large for a child's wrist. <laughs> this is pretty advanced, you know. It's one of the seven tools of the detective. It has an extremely strong backlight. You can use it to blind the enemy. I modified it when I was a child. I've always loved this sort of thing, ever since childhood. I preferred robots and cars to dolls and teddy bears. I liked high places, so I had a secret base in the trees. 
I enjoyed that. Why? Why couldn't I have been born male? It would have been much easier for me. I could have done what I wanted to with gusto. It's funny, isn't it? Hmm. Um... Your gender doesn't matter. Senpai. Alpak-san. Now that I have people who will say that to me, what right have I to complain? Naoto is smiling sadly. Really, it's quite difficult to keep my composure when you're around. I feel like I'm being lectured, like I'm still a child. Uh... Naoto looks at her feet, embarrassed. You feel your relationship with Naoto has grown deeper. Rank 6. Oh-ho. Naoto's growth of heart has affected her persona as well. Invigorate 2. Um, I'm going to I'm going to assume Invigorate doesn't stack, so I'm going to just replace Invigorate 1. It, I could be wrong. Um, some things stack, some things don't. I've been told at, um like Fire Ramp and uh, Fire Boost stack, but I know that uh, from looking it up, counter doesn't stack. It just chooses the highest one. So I'm assuming maybe Invigorate does. I don't know if Growth stacks or not. I assume it, I actually think it doesn't on like you know second thought on it. So I don't know. Yeah, I assume this probably doesn't stack, but yeah, it might. Even if it does, we don't really need both of them. Uh, it seems like I've been doing all the talking. Why don't you tell me about yourself? What were you like as a child? Um, I mean, he, they, we are a, still a child. I wish I could have seen it. I'll see you again. You chatted idly with Naoto, then went home. You can work as a tutor today. Hell yeah! Of course we're working as a tutor. It's our favorite job. It pays a ton of money and we do nothing. It's brilliant. I'm off to do that tutor life. It won't deepen? Who cares? Even better, we don't need to talk to Shu. Right. And it's gonna become closer soon. 10,000 yen for one line of dialogue. Ooh, that's value. Good morning. So, this is going to be the final battle. Finally, huh? I've been thinking about when I made the decision to come here. Heh <laughs> I came here thinking that I could find myself in the place, and uh, the peace and quiet of a little country town. But I have no regrets. I'm glad I met you. Me too. We can't lose to that Adachi. Let's beat him and bring him to justice. I'll do my best to help you until the very end. Let's win and give Nanako-chan something to smile about. Alright, but you, you, you know the game doesn't end till March, right? If we play it right. The classroom is in an uproar. This new, this new music, I think. Did you already buy a gas mask? How much was it? Oh no, my parents bought it for me. Whatever, I'm safe now. Check it out. I heard that if you catch colds easily, then you've got a higher chance of getting sick from the fog. Seriously? Oh my god, I'm totally like that. Shut up. No talking. You're still in class. The city is known to get covered in fog every 50 years. Don't worry about it. That's what the TV said anyway. So let's get down to business, can we? The uproar continues. Nobody's learning anything in class. Well, what's new then? I think I made that jo exact joke last time. Yeah, and I think it was barely funny the first time. Second time, not. But you know, repetition is the basis of comedy. The third time, likely to be a banger. Right. Hello, I. We also have Reese, and Naoto is not here. Let's go see if Reese has an upgrade. We should, because we spent an evening with her, right? Oh, senpai. Uh, let's see. We have the persona. Gonna become closer. Let's go. Uh huh. Yeah. Where should we go? 
BC looks happy. Okina City, in front of Okina Station. BC invited you to go shopping with her. Fog has enveloped the area. Today, we're buying for you. I'll put together the best outfit for you, so be prepared. I've already checked out most of the stores. First is over there. Oh. The ad. I see. So, Konami is the new poster girl. Um. Oh, uh, remember that Konami I mentioned once before? Konami Mashita, the girl on that store's billboard. We were at the same agency and she was just below me. Well, she's cute and it's no surprise that she's getting work. Jealous? Come on. No way, I have nothing to do with any of this now. I'm glad for her. She worked hard. We see is smiling. You overhear a conversation between some teenagers. Man, Kananim is so cute. It's crazy that she's still middle school. I like how she's not so fake like Rosette. Yeah, Kananim's like plain and honest. Somewhere between a little sister and that girl next door. Like the kind of girl you want to protect. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I'm fake. It's the, it's, that's the role I played. It was all an act, everything. Hey, all that stuff about Konami is an act too. Um, let's go home, senpai. I don't want to be here. Aww. Samagawa Floodplain. We see dragged you back here. Fog has enveloped the area. Senpai, are you happy right now? Do you like being with me like this, the way we are now? You like having such a cute underclassman, right? I'm an ex-idol after all. I'm happy. Oh. Why are you being so nice? It, it doesn't make any sense. Risi is biting her lip. Rosette. I quit so I wouldn't have to think about stuff like this. Um. I have no regrets about showbiz. I wouldn't want to go back. Why would I sacrifice my real life? I just want to become a Risi who's needed by the ones who see the real me. Like you, senpai. That's the me I want to be. It's the truth. You can sense Risi's passionate will. Feel you understand Risi even more. Okay. Seems like she's conflicted. I think that she would actually... She actually... Inside, there's a definite part of her that enjoyed being Rosette. And she kind of wants to have the best of both worlds. She wants to be separated and kind of live her normal life, but still have the prestige that being Rosette gave her. And the confidence it gave her and all that sort of stuff. I don't know. Maybe. And she will aid us during battle. Cool. Uh, in various ways. Alright. I got a little upset today when I heard those kids talk about Konami. I'm sure I'll forget it by tomorrow. BC looks helpless. Move closer to her. Stop, senpai. 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 <laughs> so, maybe I'm in the mood to be close to you right now. Risi is smiling sheepishly. I'm sorry for being so selfish today. Um, when I was working, I met lots of people, but at the cost of free time to meet people outside of work, I had no free time at all. So when I was alone, I was truly alone. Whatever I was thinking about, I had to keep it to myself. So, right now, I don't want to be alone. Stay with me, just a little longer. I'll see you later, senpai. You spent time with Risi until it got dark and went home. Cool. Right, it's evening. It's Friday night. We can work as a janitor at the hospital. 
Well, that, that, that's our, that's our kind of last place we're going to work. But, you know, we'll see. It might be the place we end up working. But hopefully we have somebody available. Ayani is not who we're looking for. Yukiko is not who we're looking for. There are only two. I think there's usually only two available. Let's check north. Ayani, I don't believe we actually need any points with because she's a uh, she's in our class. Ooh, who is this? Is that Naoki? Or is that Yosuke? Yosuke, we might... <sighs> yeah, we probably have a lot of points saved up though with him. Hmm. We could spend time with Yosuke, but I think we have points saved up with everybody who we have here, so I think we're going to the hospital to work for, what, 6,000 yen? I think that's how much it is. Which will give us a reasonable amount. Yeah, let's drop in a save as well while we're here. 6,000 yen. Let's go. Uh, do I want to go to work there anyway? Yeah. I don't care that she doesn't work there. Also, we get to see what new cool stuff there is. Do we, we still get the courage increase? Interesting. Cool. And 8,000 yen. All right, not too bad. You just don't get that scene at the end where she says, what have you got to report today? All right. You overhear students talking. The fog is so thick. I guess the club won't be able to meet today either. Before I used to think that school without clubs was worthless, but I'm getting used to life without any clubs. I'm actually kind of relieved. It's one less thing for me to worry about. Please don't leave, Fog. Stick around for a while. I totally agree with you, Senpai. The fog is so thick that I don't have to worry about how people react to what I say. If I can't see them, then I can just assume the reaction was whatever I wanted, so I can say anything I want. Yeah, you're right. If you don't see other people, you kind of stop caring about them, right? Same goes for me. I used to worry about others so much before, but now, huh, I just look out for number one. I've never felt this way before, but it's not bad at all. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, it's another classroom scene? I've been a bit depressed because I can't see the winter sky. But a foggy sky isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Besides, sometimes it's nice when visibility is horrible. You don't have to make eye contact with anyone. You know, I'm starting to think... I, I'm starting to like foggy weather. Oh yeah, we should get on with the lecture. We'll work on proverbs today. Sato-chan, do you know the intent behind the phrase compassion is not for the good of others? Huh? What? I wasn't listening. Alpax couldn't help. Um, Compassion. Wait, sorry. So what's this? Do you know the intent behind the phrase compassion is not for the good of others? Compassion makes you look better? Because that, that that's just a rephrasing of what he said. That's wrong. I think this is right. You gave her the answer you think is correct? Correct, Sato-chan, or rather, Zapla-chan, for taking compassion on her. So what does that mean? Why does compassion benefit yourself? It's because when you show compassion to others, they will show compassion to you in turn. So you should be kind to everyone. I just want to point out, that's not what it says. That says compassion makes you look better. This is what I thought it was meaning, right? You know, um, it benefits you because you show compassion, you get it back. Not because compassion makes you look better, but anyway. People often think that compassion is a weakness or a crutch, but that's not true. I guess he knew I was asking you, Alpax-kun. Thanks. Chie appreciates you. Nice. Means literally nothing, but you know. It's cool. Let's do a save. And back out again. Okay, so who do we have available? We have Yosuke. Okay, we're only rank 4 with him, so we should probably try and get his rank up at some point. Uh, Naoto is here. Risi is not here. I think this is a Naoto day, assuming if we have a level up. Hello. Uh, not ready to advance? We're actually going to say no because we're spending our evenings gaining levels. So that seems like something that we want to do there. I'm going to check out Kanji. 
And then if he's not available, I guess we will spend time with Yosuke. Which is not necessarily the worst. Yeah, Kanji's not available. Right, Yosuke time. It's alright. Just working through the people in our group. Yo! You tired? Rushing things isn't going to help us. I, I know, how about we take a little break? Uh, and we have the right one as well. Yeah, let's spend the afternoon with Yosuke. All right. Let's go then. Yosuke looks happy. Oh, we've already moved on to the room stage and we're only in Social Link 5. Yosuke pretty much barged in. Huh, hmm, it's pretty clean. So, you keep the goods under your futon? futon? Huh? <laughs> Come on, no need to play dumb. Don't worry, I'll still be your friend even if you're into the freaky stuff. Yosuke looks like he's having fun. So, you ever invited a girl in here? <laughs> Just one or two. I have. You kidding? Seriously? Who'd you... I'll stop there. I think it's better I don't know. Yosuke is smiling wryly. Tell you the truth. I'm not that interested. I don't know what it's like to fall in love. I've got enough to worry about without that stuff. Now isn't the time. I have things that I need to do before that can happen. Or... More like we do. Let's hang out in there. I'm carrying on you. Yosuke's determination shows through. You sense Yosuke's trust. What an odd social link. Alright. Other people, we have deep, meaningful conversations. Yosuke bun uh, bursts into our room, looks for porn, asks if we've had any girls around, says he doesn't care, and then says, yeah, let's go to the TV. Okay. You can now cure severe ailments. Wonderful. Oh, so did the notice re reach you yet? The one about joining the Young Men's Association? Huh? They were talking about having some kind of event to boost the economy. Juness is involved with it, so they're trying to rope me in. I don't have time for that. I told them I was busy, but they keep dr uh, dogging me. I don't care about the Young Men's Association or about boosting the economy. Yosuke sighs. Alright, time to take a peek under the futon. We look worried. You talked with Yosuke about different things. See you later. It's gotten dark, so you said goodbye to Yosuke. Alright then. Hopefully the next social link we get something. Oh, we can work as a tutor today? Well, I suppose, you know, if it's what we need to do, we could be convinced. Shopping district. Uh, let's head and become a tutor. Uh, it will deepen. Alright, cool. It's not too bad. I don't actually hate the conversations with Shu. They haven't really like got where they need this? to go yet. I need to make the sentence I have the same meaning as the one in the example here. Um, he is good at... I begin to explain the sentence to him in an easily understood manner. Wonderful. Mister. People who grow up uh, speaking a different language end up thinking in their native tongues, right? That's funny. Shu shrugs. It's going to be a fair commemorating the anniversary of my school's founding. So there was a discussion about what our class was going to do, and all the girls were being no uh, noisy. Noisy? Ah. Oh. Um. Didn't you join in? I don't want to. They're all stupid. That's not true. You've never had to be around them. Shu looks dis. Gusted. School's like that all day. When I get home, mom is all over me. You're so excellent. You can be number one. Mom's so proud of you. You're my pride and joy. Ugh. But I'm... Um... Cho looks worried. Um... You only come here because you're being paid to, right? That's just one reason. Hmm. <sighs> There's something else? <laughs> it's the cake my mom keeps feeding you, isn't it? Sho laughs. Up until now, all I ever did was go back and forth from home to school. I look forward to when you come to tutor me. 
seems that Shou is opening up to you. You feel your relationship with Shou has deepened. Neat. Okay. Can you tutor me a little more? Uh, there's something I still don't understand. Can you tutor me for a little while longer? He just wants to spend Please time with somebody. Again. Yeah, somebody who's gonna speak to him. It's gonna be chill. There's no pressure. I, I get it. You have the day off from school today. You wonder if this world will truly be swallowed up by the fog from the TV world. I haven't bought anything from the Home Shopping Channel. All they sell is gas masks. Why would I ever buy anything from them? Right, we'll do a save. Uh, then I'm going to head out. And I think the thing that we're going to do first is we're going to speak to you. Hello, uh, I would like... I don't really want either, but I guess I'll buy that so I don't need to go somewhere else. Right. So, where we go next? Um, we still have uh, people available. So we're not going quite back to the fox yet, because that's one we need to do at some point. But uh, let me check the fox's social link. Are we one off on that? I'm just kind of curious. We're, we're two off, but we're about to get uh, we're about to get nine when we go back, which will then give us ten next time. Okay. Oh, senpai. Uh, you look tired. Could be closer. Isn't ready to advance. Okay. We'll leave her be. We do also have Death, who we could spend time with. Or the old lady, as she's otherwise known. Not spending time with Chie. Could try spending time with Kanji, but it probably won't advance yet. Yeah. Isn't ready to advance. Okay, so. Let's leave. Uh, and check Juness. Can't spend time with him. Okay. Yeah, and there isn't a uh, seed salesperson here anyway. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think. Is there anybody else who's anywhere? So we, got Rise, we saw Rise Chie. I guess Yukiko isn't available. Okay. Let's go to... Yeah, let's go spend time with Death, I guess, today. What did other people do? Uh, Hisano. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so those are all the people we saw. Fair enough. Apart from Chie. Who nobody spent time with. But maybe she says go inside the TV. Hello. <gasps> oh, Alpax Chan. For some reason, Hisano seems surprised. Feel your relationship's gonna become closer soon? Death, we can go get a ghoul and come back. Sure. Right. Leave that. Uh, go into town. So we'll go and get the ghoul, head back, speak to her, and then see what's up with that. Completely ignoring Marie again, but you know, there you have it. Right. I think everybody's done Marie's one by now, looking at the fact that nobody goes uh, and does anything with Marie anymore. Right. Death. We want Ghoul, because it's well cheap. Wonderful. I do at some point want to go and get all of the uh, like little ones that we haven't got yet. Like There are a lot of low-level ones that we could probably clean up off of our list. I think that's going to be next time I go into the other world. That seems like a good thing to start with. Is going in there and basically picking up all of the little bits and pieces that we haven't done yet. Because there are a ton of them that I'm sure are just like single clicks to get. Because it seems like a good idea to try and get them all. Or at least an interesting idea to get as many as we can. Yeah, I think if we get to 75 we're likely to get another reward. That would be my guess anyway. My. Hello. I have the ghoul. Let's spend time together. Yes. I would like to talk. Hisano seems to have regained her composure. You frightened me there. I thought you were my husband. Watching the river here with you, like this, brings back memories. Of what? <laughs> of when I was still young, before I became this wrinkled old lady. Isano smiles. I met my husband here in this town. I was born and raised here, and he was part of a traveling company of actors. They'd come to town once a year. When I was small, my family took me to see the play. That's when I met my husband, who was a child actor. He had a clear, plain skin, and he spoke completely differently from the other children. 
he was my first love. Every year he would come, and every year I would watch. I gathered all the courage I had and talked to him. By some miracle, he fell in love with me too. Oh, we would just talk behind the stage one date every year. <laughs> I thought he was just flirting with me, but I thought that was okay. But do you know what he did? He quit the company and said he would live here and marry me. He did field work, though. He didn't know how. He would come home and show me his blisters. He was so proud. I was happy back then. What about now? <laughs> oh, happiness is something you only recognize after it's already happened. Asano smiles sadly. Right now, all I want to do is be by his side. But I know I never will. He went to heaven, and I will surely go to hell. Hmm. Why is he saying that? Something deeper in here? Don't torture yourself. Thank you. You're so kind. Asano smiles sadly. Feel that you understand Asano a little bit. Hmm. Maybe something to do with her husband's death? Maybe that's something we've got here? I don't know. I must be going now. It gets cold here down by the river. I'll see you later, Alpex Chan. Goodbye. You left Asano and went home. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if we're ever going to actually get far enough in that social link to find out what's going on. It became more intriguing with that line, but you know. It's still at the level where it's like only more intriguing. Not actually at intriguing yet for me, but you know. It, does, it threw out a little thread. There's Yukiko. Okay. Oh, your boss is gone. There was a memo going around about my boss getting transferred to the main office next spring. He was annoying and preachy and nosy, but... Looking back, he always helped me at work and always listened to my complaints and demands when we drank together. I always thought he was an asshole, but now I'm sad to see him go. Okay. Wait, the fog isn't here in such... Like, we don't have the fog filter over everything. Oh, there we do. <laughs> That's better. We didn't for about half a second. Uh, so it's Chie and Yukiko? Ugh. Okay. I suppose I could grab one of these. What's our other option? Other option is dishwashing. I guess I'm going to grab one of these. Yeah, I'm going to draw a fortune. For Risi, I think. Yeah. Is it great? Mild. Okay. Could become stronger soon. Wonderful. That's what I'm after. Right. We went home. So we're now on the 19th. So remember, 20 seconds when we have to go back into the TV. Very important. Yo! Morning, Alpax Kun. Today's already the 19th. The year's almost over. Feels like it's been so long, but so short at the same time, you know? You know, the way people in town have been acting lately is no joke anymore. But we've come so far, we've discovered the real killer ourselves. All that's left is the final showdown. We've got to get that bastard Adachi no matter what. I have a feeling that the town will go back to normal when we do. Let's make sure we win this. I'm counting on you, leader. I'll be counting on you too. Gotcha. You can count on me to do anything. If you and everyone else are with me, Alpax Kun, I'm unstoppable. Cool. Morning. We got another class. Classroom is in an uproar. Hey, did you hear about the student rep from the class next to ours? Really? Why would a student rep do that? Either way, that's crazy. For real. Ahem. <clears throat> the student rep in question is just ill from the fog. You shouldn't make assumptions without evidence, not to mention fog-induced illness is painful, you know that? I'm certain the student rep is ill from the fog. The other teachers told me. The uproar only grows louder. Oh dear. Things are getting worse. Alright, Chuck and a save. Who are we gonna spend time with today? 
And we have Yosuke and Ayani. Hello, both of you. Downstairs. Who do we got? We don't have I. Uh, we do have Naoto. Okay. Although we probably don't have an upgrade with Naoto because we didn't get any... Yeah, we didn't spend another evening with her. Okay, Risi's not available. She must be a TV person today. Kanji's not available. Right. So it's Ayani or Yosuke. Guess we'll go with Yosuke again. Get another one. Yo! Um, we're gonna become closer soon. Let's spend the afternoon with Yosuke. All right. Let's go then. Yosuke looks happy. Juness Grocery Department. You agreed to help with restocking after Yosuke begged you. Welcome. One and all, choice salmon, 59 yen a slice, just as advertised. And while you're at it, how about some cheese direct from Italy and just 298 yen for today only. Restock this shelf too. Yes, sir. You're in five, okay. You earned 5,500 yen working at Juness? Oh, thank you very much, Yosuke. Juness Food Court. You came with Yosuke after work. Fog has enveloped the area. <sighs> I'm dead tired. They decided on the sale at the last minute and Dad was bugging me to find helpers. I told him I didn't have time for that, but he wasn't listening. Thanks, man. I'm glad you were there. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> you really are a good guy. Yosuke is happy. I'm not going to say it's fun. I'm not going to lie to him, but you know, we'll say it's no problem. We're friends, doing each other favors. Oh, hello there. Oh, Hanamura. What's with the crowd today? It's way busy. If I'd known, I would have skipped out. Please don't. You got a bonus for today, right? Yeah, a whole 500 yen. I'm trying to save up. Give me a raise. Well, I don't think I can help you there. What's the point then? The two began talking nearby. They're talking very loudly. At this rate, my graduation trip will be somewhere in Japan. Maybe I should ask my parents to pay for it. Why don't you find a guy to pay? Haha, <laughs> like Saki did? Oh dear, that's not gonna go down well with uh, Yosuke. Yosuke is biting his lip. It was, was it during our second year when Saki eloped, I mean? Yep, apparently she got with a college guy who came home and went off with them. But she came right back saying she'd save money and leave on her own. Huh? You mean she was dumped? Who knows? She started working here to save money, didn't she? You know how us high school girls can make easy money if we really want to. The pair's gossiping continues. <sighs> Doesn't matter. It's just hot air. I'm not letting it get to me. It's sad to be talked about like that, though. We're the only ones who can avenge Saki-senpai. Um, we're special. We're the only ones. So, there's no need to bother with outsiders. Um, there's no need to hold back. You kidding? Huh? D dude don't hit him or anything. Are you actually the type to move without thinking? Yosuke is surprised. I think it's good you came along. Because of you, I was able to make it this far. Yosuke is nodding firmly. You feel your relationship with Yosuke has grown deeper. Okay. We're getting a little bit more of a look into it. Some of his humor is there to hide the fact that he's actually, you know, got some problems underneath. And he gets a persona change. Otto uh, Sukukaja. Uh, now, Sukukaja is... Ayo, that, that is uh, everybody gets speed up, but this is only for him, so it's hit evasion. Um, You know what, I'm getting rid of Dia. Dia sucks, right? 
I mean, yeah, it, it's past the point where we're using him for his heal. <sighs> what a pain. Um, oh, uh, not you. I wonder what it is. I don't know. You spent time talking with Yosuke. Okay, we're getting a little bit more in there. Also, he paid us money, which, as we know from tutoring, is the best way for me to uh, spend time with people. If they pay me money, I'm much happier to spend time with them. Right. So, it's Monday, which means no tutoring. Reese's available. Uh, we could spend time with Reese, although we did just spend time with Reese by using the fortune, but spending time with her again is not a bad thing, because likely we don't have enough to finish her social link. Ko, we already do. Kanji as well. Let's spend time with Kanji, get his up. Yeah. Senpai. How about this fog, huh? Came outside to get a look, but I can't see anything like this. You want to talk for a while? Might take your mind off stuff. Seems Kanji is having a hard time calming down. Talking with him and relaxing might be a good idea. And we have the, um, yeah, we have the right persona. Let's go. Yeah. Yo. Kanji seems happy. Nice. Things don't feel right anymore. It's like the whole town's on edge. Even we're getting customers asking for gas masks at our store. Like we'd ever have that shit. Everyone's spooked by those damn rumors. Um, that's just how it is. You're right. Yeah, I guess. They've never seen fog like we have. Kanji is nodding. Well, I guess we just gotta stay calm and do this. It's us or nobody. Cool. You enjoyed your idle chat with Kanji. And it's going to become closer Whoa. soon. Damn, look at the time. Sorry for keeping you out here with me. Oh yeah, you want some of this? I can't get enough of this stuff. I want you to have this, senpai. We got white Karinto. Well, catch you later. Night. So we got um, Risi and Kanji. Ne uh, their next ones are both ups. Fantastic. Okay. You overhear students talking. Ugh, my head hurts. Is it from the fog or is it because of the TV? Oh. What's the matter, senpai? You look gloomier than usual. I heard from my classmates that you studied all night again. Well, everyone else is studying too. I can't slack off. Plus, the teacher said that if I can solve all the problems in the study guide, the entrance exam should be easy. Come on, senpai. The whole world is ending soon. I can't believe you haven't heard about it yet. Everyone else is talking about it. The entrance exam is useless. Anyway, my head, it's seriously killing me. I wonder if it's from the fog. Well, if it is, that fog's not going away, so neither will my headache. Okay, okay. More, more of the same, basically. Which is to be expected, because all of these days are basically to tell you, like, the fog's still here. Have you remembered Adachi in the fog? Maybe you should deal with the fog. Um, right, so Ayani is available today. Okay, cool. Let's see if we have anybody else. Ai's not available. Naruto's not available. Risi's not available. Practice building. We'll check if Kanji's available. This might be an Ayani day. It's an Ayani day. Didn't see it coming, but, you know, that's alright. Oh, Senpai. Uh, um, uh, are, are you going to practice? If it's okay with you, want to go together? Sure. <laughs> You're pretty passionate about music. You keep saying that. Yasagami High Music Room. You attended band rehearsal. You played your trumpet with passion. Your expression has increased. Ayani is playing well. Senpai. I still get a little flustered when it's just you and me. I guess it's kind of hard to believe. There really is such a thing as true love. Uh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be saying things like that. <gasps> Ayani is smiling merrily. You feel the bond between you and Ayani has grown even stronger. Really? That's it? <laughs> Alright then. Um, I'll try to get the cleaning done fast so, so that afterwards... Ayani looks at the ground nervously. Wanna to come to my house? Huh? Your, your house? Um, I don't think uh, I'm uh, ready. Um, I mean mentally. Well, of course, what else would I mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Ani is panicking. Ba ba bum. It's okay with me. Ayani is fidgeting. Uh, let me get this place cleaned up. Sorry, it'll just be a few minutes. Let's go. He helped Ayani clean and left school together. Your room. Um. Ayani is silent. Um. Um. Well. No, never mind. Um. I, I just thought your room kind of smells like you. <laughs> Weird. Or an odd thing to say. I only blushes. Time passes as the two of you try to make conversation through the awkward silences. Goodbye. It's gone dark, so we walked Diane to her house. Went to our house, we sat on the sofa, and then we awkwardly said goodbye. Alright then. Well. Let's harvest some vegetables. Then we'll plant some melons. We got our crack wheat. There's our melon seedlings. We should probably grab some new ones on Sunday. Uh, when we're next outside. What day is it today? It's Tuesday. Ah, there will be no more Sundays. Uh, wait, let me just check something here. I just want to check the calendar, which is upstairs. I've never checked the calendar before. Well, not on purpose. Halpak Senpai, what have you been doing? There's no t You want me to go to the TV? Ah, uh, no. Alright. Let's have a look. This month's schedule. I just want to check when Sunday is. Sunday is, in fact, Christmas. Alright. As, as I thought. I was doing the, uh, the mental um, arithmetic in my head and going... Yeah, that adds up. Okay. So, uh, probably unlikely to get much done on Sunday, I would imagine. In-game. I don't know, though. I don't know. Japanese Christmas is weird. As we mentioned before, there's things like KFC in it. Which isn't necessarily, you know... I, I'm, I'm just wondering, are we gonna have fried chicken for Christmas? It would make my, uh, it would make the game for me. I mean, it would be weird. But I just think it would be the icing on top of the cake. Right. We got 10,000 yen for tutoring. It's the 21st. Yo! Alpax, morning. Uh, I was wondering why it hasn't been getting lighter, then I realized the winter solstice is tomorrow. The longest night of the year. But after that, it'll only get lighter. Everyone's been acting weirder and weirder. Even the school seems funky. What if Adachi, but what if it, uh, what Adachi said is true? Then we'll be saving the whole town when we beat them. There's not much time left until the end of the year. Let's finish this. Yeah! Entire year. I'm glad you are our leader. I'm counting on you to lead us to the very end. Let's do it! Yeah! Sure. There's been a lot of talk about the end of the world lately. Hmm. Well, I don't want to minimize its magnitude. A catastrophe like that has never happened in human history. Don't you think it would be a wonderful experience to be here when it happens? Of course, if the world ends, you must consider the fact that we're all going to die. When I make that journey into the world of the afterlife, I would like to sleep beautifully like the Egyptian royals. I wouldn't say that I'd be as beautiful as Cleopatra, but I have to make myself somewhat presentable. Now, the river of conversation has flowed to Cleopatra, I'm going to ask you a question. There were many queens in ancient Egypt named Cleopatra. Yet, Cle which Cleopatra is the one who was known as one of the three most beautiful women in the world? Let's hear from you, Mr. Hanamura. You seem like you would know a thing or two about beautiful women. Wait, what? I don't even know there was more than one Cleopatra. Alpax, will you tell me if you know the answer? Sorry. I didn't expect it to just give me numbers. <sighs> okay. Looking deep inside myself, I must have seen it at some point, right? It must have existed. Like, at some point, I've seen a history book and it's gone Cleopatra the something. Let's just go into my mind palace, examining Sherlock style all of my memories. I think it's three. Give me the answer you think is correct. How could you get this wrong, Mr. Hanamura? Yeah, Mr. Hanamura, how could you get it wrong? 
It was Cleopatra VII who was counted among the ranks of the world's great beauties. However, since the other Cleopatras were also royal queens, I'm sure they were each beautiful in their own ways. I'm disappointed you weren't as knowledgeable about beautiful women as you appear to be. Hey, that's just being prejudiced. You embarrassed Yosuke. You should apologize to him later. Alright. It was a horrible question anyway. It was seven. Sorry, I have to say that out loud to myself. It's part of my memorizing technique, is say the thing to myself and I'm going to forget it. Why do I do that? Well, because uh, now when we go to the, um, like, we do the test, I'm going to be like, well, I said seven. All right, Yosuke's available. We can get to rank seven with him. See, seven's everywhere now. Eye's available. She's higher priority than Yosuke. Naoto's available, who is higher priority, but Naoto is also not available. Because Naoto doesn't have a rank up. Kanji does, though. Sup? Yeah. Hey, Alpac Senpai. You want to go out? I feel like you've been running in circles, you know? Sure, let's go. Yeah. Sweet. Kanji looks happy. Samagawa Floodplain. It seems Kanji called the boy here. Fog has enveloped the area. Here. Kanji placed a bunch of knit dolls on the table, each one for different clothing and accessories. They're very elaborate. Can I have these? Yeah. If you don't need them, I guess you could just toss. Thank you. Oh yeah, Mom said. You should at least be paid for the materials. She gave me some money. I said I don't need it. I look like I'm in this for the money to you. Mister, you're from Tatsumi Textiles, right? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm gonna show these to Mom. Thank you, Mister. Senpai. I think I can understand now, a little anyway, about what strength really means. I used to think it was doing what needed to be done like a man. So I thought for me, that was catching that damn killer. And I mean, that's important too, but there's something else I gotta confront too, is ain't there? Um, your past? My past. Yeah, I still ain't snapped out of it. The stuff that other me said inside the TV world, that girl I made cry a long time ago. I still haven't got past any of it. Kanji is muttering to himself. It ain't that easy to become strong, is it? Kanji is looking far into the distance with a relieved look on his face. His face shines with a gentleness you've never seen before from him. Wonderful! Rank 7. And he can now endure a mortal blow. I'm taking off. Mom saw the stuff I made. She's been hassling me about selling them at the shop. The hell's a textile shop gonna do with the stuff that's already been knit? Despite his words, Kanji seems happily embarrassed. Cool, he's found a passion in life. People like it, they're willing to pay for it. That's the ideal, isn't it? 100%. A passion that people wanna pay for, wanna invest in. Something that you enjoy doing. It, it, it's the ideal job. Anyway, let's go through here. We have Naoto. Yeah, I think it's a Naoto. Yeah, we'll spend time with Naoto. Hello. Ah, Alpexan. Yes, yes. We've actually already done Naoto's one. We'll check if the evening's different, but we have already done this. You enjoyed your idle chat. Yeah, there's nothing. Basically, that says there's nothing oh. to do. So please accept it. We got a mini me we got mini melon bread. All right. What Good is night. mini melon bread? It's probably bread with bits of melon in it. Do I like the idea? I don't hate it. I suppose you you get like bread with raisins and things in it. Melon would be a similar kind of concept. I've never had melon bread. You overhear students talking. You know what? You know what? This is a perfect opportunity. Perfect. Right, what is melon bread? Melon bread. 
uh, appears to be some sort of beard oil. Um, maybe I'm wrong. What is melon bread? It, there's a lot of people who... Alright, no, okay, so that's somebody... Oh, interesting. So this person's got a piece of bread with melted melon in it. Huh. Huh. What an interesting concept. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Anyway. Ah, what a wonderful day. Once again, I can't see your face. You know, this fog is really liberating. I can't even imagine how I used to live before the fog came. Back then, I had to be cautious of what I said to others, but not anymore. Uh, oh, what? Did you say something? Come on, don't make me waste my breath. Does your head still hurt? Anyway, don't worry about it. The fog is still covering everything. Another day of this glorious weather. Oh yeah, I heard on the TV that the world was about to end. I wonder what will destroy the world. I'm getting so excited, I can't wait until it happens. <laughs> Alright. Do you think that was the game's hint? The world's about to end. Maybe you should do something? Classroom is in an uproar. I've been thinking that I won't have to worry about everything as long as I do what everyone else is doing. Yeah, I'm the same way. The TV will tell us what to do. Yeah, I hardly even care about the fog anymore either. By the way, have you heard the rumor about the grilled steak they sell at the shopping district? Really? That's not what I heard. I heard that the lady at Suzai Daigaku is... Everyone? Please quiet down, right? Huh? What did you just say? Can you give me any details? The uproar only grows louder. She's been drawn into the conversation. The ultimate teacher trap. Classes have ended. Okay, so we're gonna save now, and I'm about to do something that's very stupid. So I'm going to double check that I've saved. What am I going to do that's very stupid? Well, I'm going to go home. And I'm just going to sleep. I told you it was stupid. Because it skips to the 23rd. I'm not going to work as a tutor. Why would I do that? I'm just going to go to sleep. If it skips to the 23rd, that implies the 23rd is a dead day. Giosuke, you want to go inside the TV tomorrow? <laughs> from what I've been told from my contacts, that is not going to be happening, Yosuke. Let's go to sleep. Can we go in on the 23rd? The day is the Emperor's birthday, so you have the day off from school. We still have today available. I'm just going to sleep. You're not sleepy yet. Wait, so this implies we can go inside the TV world on the 23rd. Really? I'm just going to go back in. But this does imply we can go inside the TV world on the 23rd. Wait, if I go to sleep now, do we? can we still go inside the TV world? We get another message? Gonna be home tomorrow? Hmm, interesting. So it seems to imply we can go inside the TV again. You had a dream that you and Ayani were wearing luchador masks and wrestling. So, wait, um, mm, uh, mm, mm, uh, mm. Wait, no, we could totally go inside the TV world now. <laughs> uh, I think we had more than the 23rd, or does it... This is spoiler territory. It probably just skips to the 23rd as a minimum. I understand. So we could actually go into the TV at any point. Right. Cool. That's what I wanted to check, okay? Return to title screen. I just wanted to check what the conditions were. Don't you dare play the title sequence at me. You, you, Mr. YouTube will get mad. We're not allowed to play the title sequence. Otherwise, videos get banned in all sorts of places. It was very weird. I actually did have a video recently, and it, it popped up, and I was very confused. It said, um, this video is fine, right? You know, said, they're okay if you're having the, some music in it, as long as it's not monetized. I was like, alright, that sounds fine. And then I read the small print, and it said, yeah, but also people in Denmark, they can't view it. And I just went, huh, like, you know, why? Why Denmark in particular? 
Like, you know, I get it. You don't want it monetized. Fair enough, whatever, it's a fair compromise. The video can stay up, no monetization. Uh, you don't get anything, I don't get anything. But then I was like, but why would you not want someone in Denmark to see it? What what did that video do to offend... I wasn't even reading. We got a Juness apron and Teddy's apron. What? Okay, I love the daikon seed. Who are you? <laughs> I was just buying seeds and then autopilot. And we ended up getting two outfits. Oh, okay. Sure. Anyway. There, there's my little rant about YouTube monetization. Everyone, senpai. Yeah, we're gonna enter the TV. I'm sure we'll be alright if we work together. Okay. So it looks like you could just spend a lot of time not... It, like, you could spend a lot of time in the real world if you wanted to, but... I guess we're gonna do it today. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna save up. Let me just check something before we jump in. So, if I check this here... And have a look, uh, not fuse, our compendium, right? Sort by level. I do want to have it open here. I just want to see what we've got available. So a lot of these we already have, right? So we have all of them. Just looking for ones that aren't available. So like this one? Yeah. So we have like one. Oh, there's, wait, did I miss one already? Right, there we are. So one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven. Okay, so these are in the 60s though. So actually, low level, we only have like, you know, five that we haven't got yet. Okay. I could see about fusing those. Yeah. I might fuse those off camera. Ah, and I was told there is one that we didn't read. Or at least in theory we didn't read. Because I said there was one I forgot about and somebody very nicely said, yeah. I think the one that you said that you couldn't remember was this one because I haven't seen it yet. So it's Throne. The third of the nine orders of angels. It's said that they carry the throne of God. They are angels of knowledge. Definitely didn't read that yet. Cool. Right. But uh, we should be able to get those five. The ones that are above 60, a little bit more costly. But those five? No issues. We can just merge them. Right. I'm going to chuck in a save here. And then I'm going to end the episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.